Oh, sorry. I didn't know there were someone in here. I take it you're one of my roommate's friends? They said they were both having some friends over before heading out for the night. That's what I thought. It's not often that drop-dead gorgeous people like yourself show up in our bathroom otherwise. So, which one of those rascals are you with? Ah, the Grand Troublemaker Supreme. Makes sense. You seem like the whiskey in a teacup type. So, I bet you're just as much trouble as the rest of them, if not more so. Hey, I didn't mean anything bad by it. Quite the opposite, actually. I'm a pretty big fan of Troublemakers, considering that I'm one myself. And you look like just my type. What? Me? Flirting? I would never. Definitely not with someone as beautiful as you. I wouldn't dare begin to consider such a treacherous thing, especially when you're dressed to kill. I mean, with the way you look. You can get me tongue-tied without needing to say a single word. Yeah, I mean it. Don't pretend you don't know how good you look. It's obvious everyone can see it. Even you can. Look at the way you hold yourself. You're just radiating confidence and appeal. You're gonna have people pawing at you all night, completely lovesick for your attention. But you already know that, don't you? You know what it does to people when you're dressed to kill and on the hunt to take something? Maybe even someone that you want? <laughs> of course, I should have known. So, is anyone specific that you're on the prowl for tonight? No one in particular, then. What a shame. Anyone would be one lucky bastard to catch your eye. Like I said, you can make people fall to their knees just by looking at them. Oh? Not even done yet? What else could you possibly need to do? You already look stunning. Alright. Lipstick will be the perfect finishing touch. What color are you going to go with? Huh? Oh shit, did you lose it? Here, let me help you look. You already looked in the bag you brought with you, right? It wasn't there? Damn. Is it over there? Up next to the mirror. Well, I'm sure it has to be around here somewhere. <sighs> Is it possible that you left it at your place? Ah, uh, well that sucks. But that's nothing I can't try to fix for you. For a fire little demon like yourself, I'm happy to give it a shot. Here, scoot over a little so I can get into the drawer behind you. I can't say that I wear lipstick much anymore since the piercings get in the way, but I keep a couple of my favorite lipsticks just for fun. Oh, no, it's not that I can't wear lipstick. It's just that I'm always worried about smudging it. Sometimes I still wear it. I just have to be very careful not to smear it around since I tend to fidget with the piercings. But anyway, I'm not the one who's going to be wearing them tonight. Instead, I was going to see if you wanted to wear one of mine. Yeah, whichever one you want. I'll admit, I don't have the most conventional shades. But I think you'd look good in them. Hell, I think you'd look stunning in any color, but it's all up to you. Sure, no problem. Okay, so I have this red, which is a nice staple color, though this one has more of a vampire look than most people go for. The other one I have is this black lipstick, which is my favorite. 
though I'm not sure if you'd... Oh, that one? You sure? No, I don't think it'll look bad at all. Quite the opposite, actually. I think it would look really hot on you. You should wear it. I know it's a pretty out there look, but with the way you look, you'll pull it off, no problem. Of course I'm sure. Come on now. Where's that gorgeous little demon who made my jaw hit the floor the second I saw them? Where's that fire of yours that got me all warm in the cheeks? Let me see that confidence again. There we are. There's that lovely smile of yours. Absolutely beautiful. Ah, nope. You're wrong there. It's not meaningless flattery. If I mean every word of it. And I absolutely do. Mainly because it's absolutely true. But also because you've got me charmed. What can I say? I'm not the type to hide attraction when I feel it. I'm not going to pretend that I'm not attracted to you. No. I promise that I don't say that to all of my roommate's hot friends. There's been some cute ones, sure. But you are something else entirely. You are on your own level. Yeah, you're hot. But it's more than just your looks. You've got something about you. Something about the way you move. The way you talk. It's eye-catching. You're more mesmerizing than you realize. Oh, absolutely. I'm sure you're going to catch a lot of people eyeing you tonight. You'll be able to get whoever you want. I'd even be a bit jealous of them, if I'm honest. But I'm not here to crash the party, so I'll just lend you some lipstick so you can be on your way to a fun night. Do you want me to help you apply it? I know that it's not a forgiving color if you mess up, and I'm not sure how much time you guys have. It's no problem at all. I'm happy to help. Mind if I see it? Okay, let's see. Do you mind if I kind of hold your face so I can see a bit better? Alright, thanks. I'm just going to put my hand under your chin here. Now just part your lips a bit. Perfect. Now, just hold still for me, okay? Hmm? Am I leaning in? Sorry. I'm just trying to be careful. I don't want to mess up and mess up the ship of your lips. You have such a beautiful mouth, and I want to give them the treatment they deserve. Your lips are so soft, and they look sweet. Hmm. Don't smile at me like that while I'm this close to you. I won't be able to resist. Your mouth is way too tempting for me to resist. Hey. I just said not to smile at me like that. I'm almost done with your lipstick. And we don't want me to get distracted and mess it up, do we? Or do you want me to have to start all over... There we go. All done. And... Holy shit. You are captivating. I mean... God damn, I... I can't even think of anything else to say. You've got me lost for words here. You know... You're leading in awfully close to me. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're thinking about kissing me right now. You are, huh? What a coincidence. I'm thinking about kissing you too. Great minds think alike, I suppose. So then, if I'm thinking about kissing you, and you're thinking about kissing me, then it seems like there's something we could be doing. Something... That we'd both enjoy a lot. You interested?
That's exactly what I was hoping you'd say. Come here. Let me get you real close to me. Seems like I was right. We both enjoyed that quite a bit, didn't we? Your mouth is just as kissable as I thought they would be. Seems like those beautiful lips of yours aren't just for show. In fact, if you're willing, I'd like to kiss them again. Fuck, you feel like Kevin. How have we not met before? If I weren't having such a good time with you right now, I'd go out there and chew them out for not introducing us sooner. But I don't really want to take my hands off your hips, and I don't want you any further from me than you are right now. Come here. Let's keep having fun. They can wait a bit longer. Shit, well, one second. I'm getting kind of breathless over here. <laughs> Let me catch my breath. Your lipstick? Oh yeah, it's it's kind of smudged. Oh uh, yeah, well. What would you say if I told you that I offered to put the lipstick on you just so I could see what it would look like all messed up after I kissed you? Hold on, am I hearing you right? Because it kind of sounds like you only let me do your lipstick because you wanted to see what I would look like with your lipstick smeared on my skin. <laughs> you and I were on the same page, huh? So do I look as good as you thought I would? Am I flushed? I hadn't even realized. Now that you mention it, I do feel a little warm, and I think you messed up my hair a bit. That's even more that we have in common, then. We both like things that are beautiful, and things that are even prettier when they're wrecked. <laughs> hey, I've got a little proposition for you. How about you tell your friends that they can go ahead and have their night without you, and since we'll have the place for ourselves, we can take some time to get to know each other better. I was hoping you'd accept. You've got me captivated, and I'm dying to get some more time with you. Why don't you go let them know that you're going to stay here for the night. And I'll meet you back in my room. Wait, your lipstick still? <laughs> you're going to give us away if you tell them we're looking like that. Are you okay with that? Hey, whatever you want to do, pretty demon. Just let them know to head out so we can get back to it. I'm getting lonely already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just go tell them. Sneaky little devil. <laughs>